Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. My name is Darina Shine, and here I provide content on business development and inspirational leadership success strategies. Welcome. Today is June 20th, 2021, and um, today we're going to talk about a great concept, and it's called Emotional Intelligence. So, um, to me, emotional intelligence is defined as emotionally understanding the significance in a situation or what's going to bring a concept to create a goal being performed and succeeding at that goal or that concept. So, you are a manager and you have trained your employees on how to handle stressful situations. Here, if you're an empath, this is going to be a challenge for you. How to handle stress then says to your district manager that, you know, some techniques should be created. So what are some things that can benefit your ability to successfully get the job completed? First of all, we must understand to empower oneself to be emotionally intelligent means that you know what you have done in your career so far and that there have been stressful people along the way. Now we must pace ourselves to handle things as they come our way. And this is a very powerful tool that we need to handle because this will allow us to keep our energy to hold our vibration and meet like-minded individuals that are here to assist and abet us in our dream, in our journey, you know? Number two, become emotionally and socially aware that everyone has their own personality, but when you say what you mean and do what you say, your strategic plan will come out with perfection. I was told that I sometimes have a way about me where I don't directly give a command. And I do have a weakness here. And I'm working on that weakness. But by me deciding within myself and sticking with the decision that I make, no matter the situation, I find I come out much better than when I leave things up the circumstance. So here I'm evaluating the way in which I handle my emotional situations with intelligence, and then it becomes more clear to me even what I am manifesting in my world in order to project my 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 dream into my reality. Number three, never think that someone else can read your mind. I've gotten into many situations in the office relating to empowering those who were unaware of their own power. And as I grow in my own business, I am finding that it is important for me to guard my emotions through practicing and protecting the energy in which I possess. Realizing the best way to handle any emotional issue is with emotional intelligence and to make it even greater of a practice. I find it more powerful not to engage others. During the stressful time, you know, we want to look at everyone as being a friend. And this is a concept that was given to me by my partner who have, who has watched me, I guess, mature or has seen me stand in my own way um, through some of my business practices. And Growing, if I look at everyone as a friend, I've learned about um, how it protects the situation from becoming more than it could be, you know. So these are just a few ways that I deal with emotional um, stress and how I turn that stress into emotional intelligence and use it to handle those situations that can sometimes baffle me. You know, so if you find anything um, interesting in this podcast or helpful in your journey, please like, comment that, you know, get the conversation started and subscribe to this channel and set your reminder to Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to meet me right here on this channel. And also, if you're interested in a business development or planning success strategy, 
feel free to contact me for a 15-minute consultation on us. Thank you so much for joining me. Universal up to your success, and we'll see you next time.